Caleb here, back again with more bad fan fiction theater, and we have some guests. Hello! Hey. hey. I'm here again. I'm awake, I swear. We have Zaffer, we have Hawkeye, and we have Mark from Nerd Rage Network. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, we got a good story today. Do we now? I hope. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. I like the name of it. Yes, today we are reading Sadness is Pregnant. The Unrated Edition, by 111 Sadness Ridley for Eva 2006 Chan. Oh, dear. I totally shipped this pair. <laughs> well, I would if there's more of it, but I never really found any, but okay. Well, I mean, it's pairing Samus with the monster who killed her family, so... Yeah. Uh, you know, honestly, I would think there would be more of this pairing, but... You'd think, and and there's definitely a good chunk of porn of this pairing, but nothing that really has thought put into <laughs> no, it. No, not really. Your thoughts on this pairing, guys? Uh, I have no idea. I don't even know who Ridley is. Okay. It's kind of predictable. He's a giant robot pterodactyl mutant. Well, it's a giant I mean... robot pterodactyl? He's he's the leader of the space pirates. He he is the most reoccurring villain in the Metroid series. He's basically a dragon like creature. Uh-huh. And he's died and come back just as many times as Jason Voorhees. Right. Okay. He, he, because because space pirates are cloned, so they can just keep cloning Ridley over and over again. And uh it seems like the more he gets cloned, the more he has uh, cybernetic parts installed into him, hence the whole robot thing that he was talking about earlier. I see. I, I am a huge Metroid fanboy, so this is going to be good. Uh, what are your I thoughts will, on Other M? I will begin with uh, oh, <laughs> Other M. Uh-huh. <laughs> what are my thoughts on Other M? I thought the gameplay was good. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Uh huh. Let's have PTSD with a villain we fought th- several thousand times. And I didn't know, blink right? Okay, I, you have to have me just let that go, or we will talk about this for hours okay. and we'll not get started. So we are reading Samnus's Pregnant, the unrated edition by a w- author who I'm not going to try to pronounce ever again <laughs> it, on fanfiction.net. We will be reading by paragraph. Zaf, take it away. Hello, people. I received some requests for the extended edition of Samus is Pregnant, so I decided to post it as a standalone story. Also, I will soon post a special of Sleepover of Surprises. Soon. So be on the lookout. This is rated M for sexual content, so do not read unless you are legal and you are old enough. Thank you. Which is implied by being legal. Unless Samus... you're an illegal immigrant, in which case you shouldn't read this story. <laughs> Samus is pregnant, the unrated edition. Sh- Samus and Ridley had been going out for over six months now. Oh. It was a coincidence, considering that most teenage relationships existed for only two Wait, months. Teenage? Wait, teenage? Why is she a teenager now? Because. Yeah, what he... And so yeah, is Ridley, apparently. So, you know... Yeah, great. Now they're going to be going to Lover's Lane in a little little fucking like space car and Ridley's wearing a Letterman jacket. <laughs> uh, somebody Most... seriously needs to uh, draw Ridley in a Letterman jacket for us now. <laughs> Most teenage relationships lasted for two months, according to a video. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for breaking the fourth wall, author. Well, I mean, don't that's not really breaking the too. fourth wall. I guess they're just watching one of those shitty educational videos that are like, oh, yeah, most relationships are only two months long. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone I was really single su- since I was 16. Everyone was surprised because they hadn't expected the relationship to last this long. Not even Sam's or Ridley thought it would last this long. Loing? <laughs> Loing. And that says things. It says things. We're not exactly sure what things they say, but it definitely says things. Yes. The things are being said. Lots of them. If there's one thing I'm sure of. It's this thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad we can all agree on that. Mm. So am I continuing, or are we stopping? No, here? no, no, talk. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right now, Samus and 
Rildy, oh. were at Ridley's house. Rid- <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ridley's parents weren't at home because of a business trip. Are you? <laughs> yes, the trip they went on to start robbing people of whatever the fuck it is space pirates do. Right. We're, we're not even clear that Ridley has parents, but we'll go with that, I guess. Ridley's parents weren't at home because of a business trip, and Sam Sue didn't have to be home until one o'clock. Right now, it was only 11.30. They were on the couch, and it was quiet. Fair enough. <sighs> Nothing about that is fair. What the fuck? <sighs> so, Samness, what do you think of uh, world politics? Oh, we were just discussing this. We were just, yeah. Very Rid- timely. <laughs> Ridley, uh... Yeah, Ridley made conversely. Really, I don't care uh, about things like that. Samus asserted. Ah, uh, Ridley admitted. Um, admitted what? I don't know. <laughs> he admitted to his awe problem. He says that a lot. Ah, uh, I see. Uh. <laughs> there was a kind oif silence that happens when people don't know what to say to each other in a relationship. But Ridley has something on his mind. Yeah, that silence is usually called strain. Or uncomfortable. That too. Uh, uh, Samus, Ridley approached. I don't know how he's approached one of us sitting (laughs) on the couch. Fuck. Yes, Ridley, Samus. Question answered, (laughs) what? (laughs) Yes, she did answer his question with the... It, that whatever I can't say words. The fuck is this grammar? It's grammar, not I guess. Oh God! <clears throat> you know English, cause I know no English. <laughs> yeah, I, I know English very well. You know, I I know no no nothing English. Gee. <laughs> I just want to read this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this is, like, how aliens, like, somehow, like, imagine conversations go. (laughs) Yes, Ridley, Samus answered question. You know, well, we've been going out for a long time, longer than average, and well... Thank you for pointing that out. I agree, Samus nodded. It's like, it's not up for debate, it's time, either it's past or it hasn't. Yeah, anyway. I agree. Well... (laughs) Well, you know how, uh, you see, Ridley seemed unholy. Yes, <laughs> and you should shoot him in the face with your arm cannon. Yeah, unholy. I bet he, looked, uh, he seemed unholy. He's a fucking dragon alien robot monster. I need an old priest and a young priest. And you see out of your eyes. <sighs> Ridley, I understand what you mean from that jumbled of nothing that you just sprouted, Sam misunderstood. Oh. Samus, are you sure about... Ridley started, but it was too late. The train had started to rule. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> this is <laughs> awesome. Stop. Teen hormones are a problem, especially for alien pterodactyls. <laughs> and it can lead to more than is bargained for. Samus and Ridley found out the hard way. Ooh, Get my. It. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Samus hugged Ridley and kissed him. On the lips. He doesn't have sure he has lips. How's that say? So, then Ridley a... kissed her back. On the lips. And then he <laughs> ate face off. More or more like he tugged then, her. Samus then proceeded to take off all her clothes so that she was naked. Ridley did so as well. Because he wears Why clothing? Why was Ridley even wearing clothes? Hey, he's there wearing was... a jacket. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the letter jacket, right. There was a second because it was awkward not to have any clothes on in front of your significant other. Uh, 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 so many misspelled words. <laughs> misspelled rods. Ridley, are you sure about this? Samus nudely pondered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's my uh, phrase of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like sexually jumped into a pensive there. Uh, but Ridley answered by kissing her neck. Samus no, he not... didn't. He just ripped out a chunk. Oh. Or more like licked. Samus could not take it anymore because there was much 
sexual tension. Much of it. Yes. There is much sexual tension here. She grabbed Oto Ridley <laughs> and started to sex him up. Very sexily. <laughs> Would you people stop saying you sexed somebody else? It's just so awkward. I sexed him to make sure he was a dude. Yes, exactly. I mean, that would actually make it a more interesting story if it turned out Ridley was actually a female. Ridley was going insane and could barely handle the pressure. Of what? I don't know. This continued until they broke down all barriers. Barriers. (laughs) Like barriers made out of berries. Oh, man, Captain Crunch. (laughs) Oops, all barriers. And began to have sexual intercourse. Thank you for being as <sighs> clinical as humanly possible about this. This is how aliens <laughs> see this sex. xenophobic or the xenophilic rather thing happening. They devoured mass quantities. Yes, they love mate. <laughs> what is this talk about the point of view of the coneheads? What the fuck? <laughs> but it was over far too quickly than it had started. Too quick for comfort, as Semis was soon to learn. Oh, for fuck's sake. The shut hard up. way. And shut up, toilet, when you don't need to be in this story ever again. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. No, I didn't hear anything. Okay. So once again, she has to learn the hard way. <laughs> or face full life consequences. Bunch of ones. The next morning, Samus wasn't sure where she was period slash then she remembered that she was at ridley's house then she noticed she was in ridley's bed then she noticed that she was naked all in that order because what the fuck is this wow, how are, do you forget you this keen intergalactic operative Samus. maybe she hadn't made it that far what? yet this is when they're still lovers not enemies oh i just I... read forward a little bit i don't uh... like this story anymore <laughs> did you like it to begin with <laughs> 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 Samus woke up the whole neighborhood. The whole neighborhood. The whole of it. Samus, is something wrong? Wrigley, Wrigley, Ridley noticed as he coke up. Not <laughs> coke up uh, in the morning. Oh no, he fearfully exclaimed. Ridley, what if, if Samus worried, Ridley was cooler and didn't lose his cool? Because he's cooler. Uh, <laughs> because he's really like one of those like Arctic Dragon kind of things, being from space and shit. Oh god, this fucking do it's okay. My friend told me that it can happen the first time, so never worry. It's okay, Ridley. It can't a- happen the first time. That is the most. If you believe that, I have ten million dollars to give you. Hey, yeah, I've got a can I have it now? Like to sell you. I will believe anything for $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking Winston Ghostbusters. It's like, I'll believe whatever you want as long as you're paying me. Anyway. Do it's okay. My friend told me that it can't happen the first time, so never worry. It's okay. Ridley ascertained. Uh, mm. Oh, sorry. Was it not my turn? No, it's your turn. I was just looking at that spelling. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Seamus tried to convince herself. Did they actually spell it Seamus? Uh Uh-huh. Yes! (laughs) After all, who doesn't think it could happen? It could happen after just one time? Unfortunately, they were dead wrong. Oh, no. Bunch of ones. It had been some weeks, and Samus was at Helen's house, whoever the fuck, fuck is that is. Mandy and 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 were there, too. Wow, this is the most ham-fisted self insertion I've ever seen. <laughs> God. I renamed myself to support your relationship. That's how much I believe in it. Ugh. It was the morning, and Samus was feeling a little sick. The problem was everyone else was healthy in her in her friends and family. Because I'm I don't think pregnancy happens immediately like the morning sickness thing, but you know I don't know. Oh, uh, it, it does say it's been some weeks. Oh, it has. Okay. Yeah. The problem. Uh, everyone was okay. I don't know why that would be a problem. 
so it wasn't like the cold or the cholera. <laughs> it wasn't the likely the, the cold or the cholera. The cholera. Oh, wow. There's cholera that's, that's in a, this now? Yeah, cholera. That's that's one of the diseases you can get in the Oregon Trail. Yeah, I was about to say. So not only does this take place in high school, it also takes place in like the 14th century. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Something was up, and Helen was about ready to explode. Who the fuck is Helen? Nobody fucking knows. The, the okay. person whose house they're at. Is it my go? Oh. I don't remember the order. It's Mark. Okay. Uh, Santa's, I think we have an emergency. Helen imploded. At that moment, she just turned inside out and got sucked. Wait, I thought herself. she's about to explode. How does she implode? Well, that's what happens when you're trying to explode and you hold it back. Uh, yeah, she uh, I think that's... Form. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, what happens Snoopy. when you detonate a nuclear device. Ah, uh, she had a snook in the sniz. <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay, calm down, Mandy Controlled. She was the kind of girls who could keep their cool in a disaster. Seamus, we mm. are all worried, but there's only one why wait to... Oh, there's only one way to oh, be sure, implied Mandy. How do you guys even fucking know that could possibly be the problem? Did she say, hey, I had sex with my boyfriend a couple of weeks ago? If By I the way, our DNA probably isn't do? even compatible. That too? Oh my goodness. I, I know where this is going. This is not good. <laughs> Samus looked at her feet. But where do I get one on those? Samus speculated. You don't know what words mean. You just fucking don't. No, I, I don't think. I clearly don't think English is this author's first language. No, I think or they're second just trolling. Language. Or third language. Yeah, I, that would be my first guess. One one one. Samus Ridley forever. Two thousand six broke the silence. I have one. One one one. Samus Ridley forever. <laughs> Two thousand six made known. <laughs> Because you would just happen to have, you know, a pregnancy test in on you for some reason. She reached in her black handbag and picked up a small wrapper with something in it. No shit, because either it's that or it's a tampon. Okay, good, because I was, I was, before I read that part, I was thinking they were talking about, like, a coat hanger or something. As yeah, I'm such a fucking whore something. that I carry around a pregnancy test with me. <laughs> Ever E. Yon was shrouded in disbelief. Why? Because I guess they didn't know she hoes herself around <sighs> and thus has a pregnancy test. Eh. Well, I mean, it's just. Like... Or it could be a tampon. Who knows? Maybe she's on her period. Well, at least like, somebody's addressing this. Like everyone's in disbelief. Oh God, I've never seen one of those. One 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six. What the fuck? Why do you have a pregnancy test in your pocket? Helen posed. Well, because she gets more dick than a fucking toilet seat. Everyone except one 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six thought it was a reasonable question. One 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six rolled her eyes. Dude, I have a life, you know. One 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 Samus Ridley forever two thousand six controversially declared. How oh, is that controversially? <laughs> You're just using adjectives here. You don't even know what they I mean. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I notice that I'm the only one who doesn't have to read out that ridiculous name. <laughs> yeah, you are lucky you. Okay then, Helen calmed down. The only way to be safe is well, Samus, are you ready? Helen pride. <laughs> Samus was not ready, but it was the only way she could be safe. Uh, okay. Okay, Samus decided. It's time. <laughs> Lots of ones. Oh, God. This is great. Samus was in Helen's bathroom. She couldn't believe this was happening. e hot if... No! She wasn't going to think about it! Except that you have to if you're going to pee on the fucking stick. Samus tried to calm down, but it was too hard. Only two minutes. One minute. Samus held her breath and took a look. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, she must be reading this fic along with us. Samus distrusted. Say it ain't so. Done it. Done it. Say it ain't so. Whoa, whoa. Bunch of ones. Somewhere in town, a phone was ringing. <laughs> you don't say. It was Ridley's cell phone. Ridley picked it up. Hello, Ridley answered. 
<laughs> Somewhere in town, a phone is ringing. He was confused because on the other end of the phone, there was silence. Wouldn't you know it's your girlfriend if, you know, you answered her cell phone? Wouldn't her name be displayed? Anyway. The phone is ringing, and I cannot linger. So look out, but here comes my finger. <laughs> um, thanks for that. No, I just fucking remembered that shit off the top of my head from the Beavis and Butthead movie. God. <laughs> The story is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The story sucks. <laughs> 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 then he heard Samus say four words that would change her life. Or three if you technically count a contraction. It's three part. words. It's three words, not four words. Indeed. Why, why where did you get four words out of this? Well, technically I am is two words. It's just a contraction. Really? I'm pregnant. The end. So we're not going to read the ending note? Oh, there is an ending note? There is an ending note. Thanks, guys. Metroid High School is on a short brack for right now. But... Oh, my God. I was gonna... I didn't know this was part of that. I was going to read that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Metroid so High School. I think that's yeah. on the list. But it'll be yeah. back, back soon. Thanks to all fans like... Uh, some guy in Game Dude and Metroid 13, uh... That's bullshit. Luvea. Samus Ridley Forever 2006. P.S. If you are new to this story, it's part of Metroid High School, another story I'm writing. The story continues there. So, Mark, what did you think of this story? I died a little on the inside, but it's cool. That... It was... Yeah, it was fine. It was a thing. Uh, there's nothing overly horrible about it, but it doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah. I love the author's, like, use of adjectives. I I agree with Hawk. I think if if you really wanted this to be, like, a, a gripping story, I mean, you really have to establish your alternate universe, even if it's a standalone story to something else that you're writing. Because just throwing us in there and saying, oh, they're wearing clothes and somehow Samus is, like, getting fucked and not ripped apart by this giant-ass dragon dude, you need to somehow make it plausible. I mean, granted, they said it was part of Metroid High School, but there's no link or anything to connect it to it. Yeah. I guess they figured you just click on their name, go to the list of their stories written, and there you'll find it. Yeah, because it's that good. Plus, I don't I have think to find you can put links happens. in your fanfiction.net stories. I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, but I know that I was reading one called Daughter of Discord. It was like an MLP fanfic. And, like, it had, you know, it had, the, like, the chapter thing at the end of it and everything like that. You could just, they were just adding on to. Yeah, but was that on fanfiction.net? Yeah. It was. I didn't think yeah, you could put the links, links into it. Okay. Well, not exactly a link as much as it was, like, like a page, you know, selection thing. But that's the that that's the chapter thing I think you're talking about. Not yeah, the, but what I'm saying is there's not even that to connect it to the rest of any other well, story. Well, yeah, it's just that's like one because shot. they took it out of that and okay. made it into a one shot. Okay, now I get it. Anything else? Uh, um, springs to mind. More than anything, I'm just like, what? How do you? How does one even deal with being pregnant with a dragon pterodactyl? Is it going to be like something out of Alien where it just busts out of you? I don't know. Well, you you how, know how what did, the answer to that is? How did Shell uh, get pregnant by Wheatley in the Portal story? Oh, is that a thing that happened? Yes, it was. So, sorry, I missed that. Oh God, this sadly reminds me of a stupid ass movie. Have you guys ever heard of a movie called Carnosaur? No. Oh, it was a dinosaur. Roger Corman, why? Where, like, there was a virus going around that made people, like, give birth to dinosaur eggs and then die or something. Something like that. Like, that that's going that, to the labor that's not what the plot of the movie is, but that does happen in the movie. That's definitely for sure. A woman gives is, like, going into labor, and she pushes out a giant, like, velociraptor egg and dies. That sounds like something we would read on this show, to be honest. It is. It's like a yeah. Jurassic Park fan fiction without having Jurassic Park in the title. Yeah. So, in the end, uh, this story could really use a lot of setup for its AU. And more than just telling us that, hey, I watched a video once and they said usually teenage relationships last for two months. 
you know, I mean, you could just be like people didn't think that they would stay together that long and like, hey, they're in their fifth month of their relationship or they've been dating for a year. There are other more interesting and quick ways to suggest that, hey, this seemed like an impossible thing, but they somehow made it work. Oh, yeah, now they have a baby. How does that you ask? <laughs> yeah. So, if you ask me, one thing this story could really use is a store. Is a store? Because there really wasn't much of one. Oh, yeah. I, I guess that's really what I'm complaining about is there's really nothing here. There's just some people doing stuff, and then that's about it. Yeah, I mean, you could you can sum up this story in, like, three sentences. Samus and Ridley fucked. Samus and her friends talked. Samus uses a pregnancy test and finds out she's pregnant. With the Ridley's end. baby. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. Anything else anyone wants to say? It's alive! <laughs> to find out more, I guess you're going to have to read the whole fan fiction. Indeed. Of uh... Metroid High School. Yeah, welcome to Pleasantville featuring Samus. The musical. <laughs> all right. I believe that's all we have to say. So I'm Caleb. I'm Zaffer. I'm Hawkeye. And I'm Mark. Big Mac. <laughs> From Nerd Rage Network, thank you for being with us today. Subscribe, people. Huzzah. I would appreciate subscription. He would appreciate yeah, a slam, subscription. Slam that like and subscribe button, yo. <laughs> and they slam that like button like it owes you money. Because it probably does. <laughs> <laughs> slam that fucker. There we go. Hey, you did it? Did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? Okay, thank you. Thank you all for watching and listening. Have a good day. Bye. I totally messed up my ending. I don't care.